Hey, welcome. Thank you so much for coming to listen to the Lichen Sclerosis Podcast. My name is Kathy, and this is our journal of learning about and living with lichen sclerosis. Each week, I either speak to someone or research an aspect of lichen sclerosis and bring you the information. I bring you the real talk without the medical jargon. And this week, I'm so, so excited because I am bringing a very special LS warrior to talk to me today and to talk to you um, because she has started a new journey, part of her expansion of her empire. She started a podcast. So I am all about just uplifting the community, uplifting uh, women. And yeah, I, as soon as I found out, I was like, you've got to come on the podcast and talk about your podcast for my audience to start following you. So if you are interested in an additional resource, you have got to go and follow my girl, Penny. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into her story because we are going to have another podcast episode in a couple months that's going to go deep into her story, but I just wanted to you to meet her now and I'll get into more of that in a minute. I want to let you know the Lichen Sclerosis Support Network is here for you. We are all about empowering you so that you can live your best life with LS. If this information, this podcast, the blog, the videos, the virtual meetups, the information and education that we put out there for you has been helpful, please think about either donating your time or making a, your support helps us support you. So without further ado, let me start my conversation with Penny. <laughs> Penny, I know I, I'm always like jamming to the music. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited to have this conversation because you are like a sister from like another country. We are like very kindred spirits, very uplifting, very positive. Um, we are always laughing and being silly. We're just no filter. So it's like, you are my peoples. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. And I was like really jammed into the song. And I definitely agree with that. We're like, we're like, yeah, we have the same kindred spirit. And I love yeah. that. I love it too. So <laughs> if you don't know Penny, you need to be following her on Instagram. She's at wellbeing.by.penny. She is hilarious. She does amazingly funny reels all about LS and pelvic pain and just kind of like kind of like I do twisting that negative and looking for the positive, looking for that little grain that is going to bring you out of that despair, that depression, something that make you smile, right? Yeah, we want to feel good in the shitty stuff, though. Yes, <laughs> my saying is find that diamond in the shit, you know, yeah. find that that piece of gold that whatever it is going to lift your spirit amongst all of that icky, nasty stuff and focus on that. Yeah, exactly. Woo, that's all. I <laughs> exactly. So. I want to talk about where you began for people who don't know you. Um, and I don't want to go, like I said, I don't want to go too deep into your story because that is going to be coming out in a couple of months. But just to give some background of where you've been and then what made you feel like now is the time for me to bring this additional resource to the people. So, okay, I live with lichen sclerosis. I've lived with lichen sclerosis, like I was diagnosed when I was 19 and now I'm 33. So it's been, a, it's been a long time. It's a long time coming around the corner. No, but I've been living with lichen sclerosis and then I've been living with overactive pelvic floor dysfunction, aka hypertonic pelvic floor dysfunction because of my lichen sclerosis. And then I started teaching yoga for overactive pelvic floor dysfunction and I've done all that now. 
And I just, I have so many things to say. Like there's so many things that I have to say in life. And it's just like, you know, like I say, an Instagram story is just like, it's not enough. It's not enough. So I'm like, yeah. I want to bring more, more into it. I want, I want more fun, more empowerment on the journey that we're going on. So as you were saying, like, we're trying to find the diamond in the shit. And I want to bring that to my people and for them to connect with their own power, take back their power into their own hands, if that makes sense. Absolutely makes sense. And so I'm guessing that's why you named the podcast, the Pelvic Power Podcast. Yes. So I have been back and forth about what to naming it. And then I... I've been doing a pelvic power series, a free series over on Wellbeing by Penny. And I, I don't know how it came to me. It was just like, cause like there's so much more to what I do than just like the physical poses, like people that come to my classes or people that, that, you know, vibe with me, it's kind of like hard to explain what I actually do. Cause mm-hmm. it's like, it's like the feeling that you leave with when we work together. And when I started thinking about a podcast, I was like, oh, it should be pelvic health. And I was like, no, everything's pelvic health. I'm like, no, I want something else. And I'm like, oh, pelvic power podcast. And I had the idea about the podcast for the past, like, I don't know, year and a half, two years. (laughs) But I'm a little bit of a fucking perfectionist. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, recovering perfectionist right here. Recovering. And And it's like, I, I want to put something out there, but I want everything to be perfect. And I've that's been like in my way. Dude, when I first started this podcast, I would take eight hours, no lie, just editing a 15 minute fucking episode. That's how that's how much of a perfectionist I am. Okay. And then that's not even counting like show notes and you know the title and the imagery. Oh yeah. No. I'm with you right there. And that wasn't even like um, a video podcast. I started out with just audio. So <laughs> now that I started the video, it's like really having to be like, oh. yeah. yeah, because it, it, it really, it cannot be perfect all of the time. And I still edit the crap out of my, my, my episodes, but, um, but I'm trying to get better. <laughs> yeah, it's like you said right before we jumped on. You're like, I'm gonna try and not edit as much. You just like yeah. put that in there, and I'm almost like, I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was just, I think I was talking to Jacqueline. Jacqueline's just like the Lost Labia Chronicles. Yes. She's just like, you just have to push through it, like put it yeah. out there. And I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I don't know a lot about recording and stuff like that. Like I'm the same when I record my yoga classes. I want everything yeah. to be perfect. And then when it's not perfect, I'm like, then it comes into, you know, like the imposter syndrome where you're just like, oh, I suck. Why do I do this? I don't know what I'm doing. And I didn't want that to be dragged into the podcast. So I was like, yeah. no, I'm going to feel the fear. I'm going to push through it. I'm going to do it anyway. I love the, I listened to the podcast and I went back and I, and I listened your last episode, the power is in your hands. Like I have an episode very similar to that. And that touched me. I was like, yes, this is what I'm talking about. Feeling the suck, but not letting it, not getting stuck in it. Yeah. Just pushing through it, pushing through it until you find that that piece of gold, right? That diamond that you can focus on until you get out of it. Exactly. And it's so funny saying that, like, if you're recording a podcast, I struggle with listening to it because I'm such a perfectionist. I love hearing myself talk. Maybe that's a weird thing to say, but I'm just like listening to it. I'm like, when I'm into editing mode, I'm like, oh my God, this I'm saying this wrong. Or since it's my second language, it kind of adds that thing for me. Like, I'm like, oh, they're not gonna understand that word. And then I was listening to that latest podcast episode and I'm just like, this is such a great, great episode. Like waking waking up in the morning and listening to that, you're just like, yeah, fuck, let's go. (laughs) Yes. Oh my God. I, I love it when I listen to my old episodes and I'm like, or even my new ones. Like I, I always listen to them after, um, after I publish them, make sure that, you know, nothing got fucked up. But I love when I'm listening to a podcast episode I did and I'm like, 
if this wasn't me, I would so totally listen to this podcast. Like, this is a really great podcast episode. <laughs> so I feel that. I feel that so hard. Um, we got one of our, our audience members says, Pelvic Power Podcast is the perfect name with LS and three prolapses. We need the pow- the word power. Yes. Yes. I love that word power. So... It, as you, as my listener can probably tell, you are uh, just like me. There's going to be, I love that going back to the first episode when you were introducing the power, the, 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 the podcast and you were like, they're going to be F-bombs, yeah. you know, that it's going to be raw <laughs> yeah. and real. And I was just like, yes, I am here for for it. I'm not trying to filter myself. If if you don't like it, I'm sorry. This is not the podcast for you. You know, you are not my peoples. Um, and I love it because it's like, it. it's so freeing when you can be you and you know that you have a message, right? And you know that that message can help turn people's world around. And to not have the that societal fear or, oh, I can't say that because that's going to offend somebody or I can't, I have to w- word it a certain way so that everybody will like me. No, fuck that. Your people need to hear from you. And, Amen. you know, there is people from uh, the other people that the other people can go listen to, hopefully. Um, but if they can't, then, you know, they, they're going to have to learn to listen to a couple of F-bombs um, <laughs> and some realness. So <laughs> yeah. what did, did that kind of play into your mind? Like when you were thinking about how I'm going to do the podcast or it was just like, no, they're going to get me raw. Oh, I, I, uh, um, this is me on a daily basis, like in my mind. I'm literally like, I have a journal every morning where I have to, I write I am statements and I have to do, I am liked, I am loved, I am worthy mm-hmm. because I am up in my head all the time. And like, you know, like you're saying, you're not for everyone, but it's really hard to grasp that concept sometimes. Yeah. Like we want to be liked, <laughs> but then when we're not, like that's really hard, but when I started the podcast, I was like, it's going to take so much more energy out of me to not be myself than actually yeah. to just be myself. Yeah. And eventually you're going to come through and then it's yeah. going to be like, oh, she flipped the script. Who is this person? Yeah. So, yeah, I love the the coming from from the very beginning. Uh, I was very much, like I said, the same way. I was just like, first off, I had no audience. You are coming into this with an audience. Nobody knew who the hell I was. I didn't know who I was. I had never done a podcast before. It was brand new. I was just researching. I barely knew anything about like in sclerosis. And I was like, hmm, who the fuck is going to listen to me? (laughs) Uh, And I was like, you know what? I'm I'm just going to do it anyway. Nobody's going to listen to it. So I could do whatever the hell I want. Right. And so. When, when you found, when you find your audience and then they, they start growing and loving you and you're now you're like, Oh, I have found my community, you know? So with the, with the podcast, how has that, um, translated within your membership? Oh, wait, can you say that question? (laughs) Yeah. So has, has like, how, how has the membership, like, are they listening to the podcast? Are they talking about it with the the membership? Um, how are they giving you like ideas and like, you need to talk about this or (laughs) no students are coming out saying to me, they're like, Oh, I want to be on the podcast. Can I be on the podcast? I'm like, okay, great. You can come talk about pelvic floor yoga. Or like people are saying that they really want my mom on the podcast because my mom has like it's grosses as well. So they want to hear that story too. And I'm like, yeah, this is amazing that I'm getting that feedback and just like getting emails from people saying that, oh, I'm just listening to your podcast when I'm like working around the kitchen and I really like it. And it's like, I feel like, yeah, like that, what I said in the last episode, it's like more like you have that little, Okay, let's let's move on. Let's move forward. Yes, you know? 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So give us a little sneak peek of what's to come right now. There's only four episodes. So I, I'm sure you've, you've got all these people and um, amazing things to come. So give us a little sneak peek. Yeah, of course. So I have another episode dropping. I have an episode dropping every Thursday. That's the plan. I've said that I've made that goal for myself. The thing is, like you were saying with the podcast as well, like, if no one's going to listen, I think it's fun. Like, I Mm -hmm. think it's fun to record a podcast. And for me with I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm a little bit tired of Instagram. Like I'm a little bit mm-hmm. tired of Instagram. It's kind of like sucking my soul, I feel like. Yeah. And this podcast is just opening up like that I can express myself in a completely new way. And also I want to bring that inspiration to other people because sometimes I look around in my environment and I'm just like, I need more inspiration in my life. Can I bring that inspiration into other people's as I'm going for it? But yes, so a new episode is dropping every Thursday. Tomorrow, we have our first guest, and I'm so excited. It's going to be great. (laughs) And yeah, it's just, you know, yeah, it's exciting to have the first guest. I have a couple guest plans. Of course, there's going to be pelvic physios. Of course, there's going to be some people that you definitely know. And Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be solo episodes. Like, I just have so many things that I want to talk about, like, body image wise, when it comes to not just your vulva, but your entire body and Mm -hmm. things like that. And just diving deeper into the power that can drive you forward. I love it. There's one, something that you said too, um, in that first episode that resonated with me was that we are, we have, we do hold so much power in our pelvic area. Like I said it before too, our vulvas and vaginas should be worshiped. Like we are, those are the only organs that bring life into the world. Like yeah. you, can, hello, that alone should be revered. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like a lot of times in society we're shunned where there's that stigma, but I'm like, Hey, say it loud and say it proud. Okay. Because I'm powerful. And I am powerful because I have that organ and what I can do that no yeah. one else can do. Yeah, exactly. It's so cool. Like when you think about it, like that hit me the other day. I was teaching a class. We were doing legs up the wall pose. If you've ever done that one before, mm-hmm. if you haven't done it, I recommend you doing it. It's great for the pelvis because it kind of shifts the energy a little bit around in the pelvis. Anyway, and I was lying there and as I was guiding people through class, I just got this sense of like I was I I had my hands onto my body and I got the sense of the body's so fucking amazing like you know when you just zoom out and you just realize like I'm just a part of something bigger and then you just go you get like mind blown about the fact that here you are hating on your vulva and I'm like fuck no that's not worth it no (laughs) no no Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. And it's like, I, I feel that too about hating on your vulva because I, I get those emails a lot and I get, you know, the DMs and, you know, I feel like there are, there are a lot of um, negative energies out there and you are a positive energy. And I try to be a positive energy and everything that I touch is always coming from a place of positivity and hope. And I know that there is that whole, you know, um, positive positivity being toxic. And it's like, I feel like we, we're very mindful of not doing toxic positivity. Like we acknowledge this shit sucks. This shit is painful. Mm -hmm. This shit is not for, you, you don't want this, but we don't have a choice. No. So in order for us to live, <laughs> you know, for this not to consume us and so for us to still live our best life, we have to acknowledge it, but find that, find that golden nugget, find that diamond, right? Exactly. And I feel like that's also a thing with like my community. I know when my people, my, my peoples are in my community because what I do can also be very like, wait, what are you doing? This is something that we don't often see. And 
I don't want to be stuck in my pain. I don't want to be mm-hmm. stuck in that stage of my life. I'd rather want to move forward. So I might be making fun of something, like looking at your vulva and making it into a funny reel. And people might be like, oh, she's not thinking like about the fact that this is a horrible condition. I am, but I'm choosing to move on from being stuck in that negative energy. And just, I want to feel good. I live with pain. Right now, I'm sitting here in my long skirt without any underwear under or on because I am in a flare right now. And that's just the way the life goes. But I don't want to be stuck in that pain. I want to move forward. So I'm doing what I can to support my body right now and my mind. I love it. And you're supporting others in the same at the same time. So tell us a little bit about um, what are your guests going to be talking about? You talked about changing the perception of your body image, but just give us a few clues as to what are the next episodes going to be? Yes, about. I will. I have a guest right now here that's coming in through the door. Uh, <laughs> she's like, we're ready to cuddle now. She's been sleeping and then she comes. This is what she does in a yoga class too. She's like, I want to cuddle now. <laughs> yes. So we will be talking about everything. I feel like pelvic pain by itself, to me, it's not just focusing on the pelvis. It's about like a holistic approach. Mm-hmm. Also, I will be having people on that talk about other pelvic pain conditions, not just lichen sclerosis, because I have such a wide variety of people in my community. We all, everyone comes to me because they either want to laugh or they live with pelvic pain of some sort, most likely that they live with overactive pelvic floor dysfunction. But that doesn't mean that everyone lives with lichen sclerosis. So that's not just going to be my focus. I want to learn about other conditions as well. And then also empower those people with other conditions. Like I said in the first episode, if we are talking about endometriosis, you don't have endometriosis, there are probably some really nice golden nuggets that you can take with you on your journey that can actually help you as well. So mm-hmm. just because it's it doesn't apply to me because I don't have endometriosis, it's like, yeah, there's still going to be really great things in there that I can take with me. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. I love that. So make sure you are following Penny at Wellbeing dot by dot penny give us a little synopsis of what you do in the membership for people who don't know yes so there are live and on-demand classes right now we have three live classes per week and we have because i have people all over the world we have like different time slots so there are time slots of people in the uk or europe can join in and then time slots when people on my side of the pond can join in as well And we also have so live and on-demand classes, as I was saying. The classes are 45 minutes to an hour. Every live class that happens is uploaded as a a recording. And also in the membership, we have pelvic reset poses. So they're about seven minutes long. Pelvic pelvic reset flows or pelvic flows. They're about 15, 20 minutes long. And then we also have meditation, breathwork sessions, some EFT in there, and an amazing fucking community that is the best community ever. I love it. I love it. And is this only for people that have hypertonic pelvic floor muscle um, dysfunction or is it for everybody? So I created it for people that live with hypertonic pelvic floor dysfunction. However, a lot of people just come in because they have like low back pain or they have hip pain and things like that as well. Or they just want to feel good mentally, emotionally, and physically. Yes, be around that positivity. I love it. All right. And so make sure you also go to your favorite podcast app, look up the Pelvic Power Podcast and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so that you get notified when Penny drops a new episode every Thursday. We're holding you to it. And while you're at it, make sure you are subscribed to the Lichen Sclerosis podcast. And thank you so much, Penny. This was so much fun. Thank you. This was this was a blast. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Penny is such a wonderful, positive energy that I just immediately gravitated to her. And I think you will too. So if you're looking for that new resource where you can be uplifted and you can also get some pelvic information, um, you want to make sure you go subscribe and follow her on IG. Scroll back. You will not be disappointed. She is hilarious. Until next time, I hope you have an amazing week and I will talk to you later.
Bye.